Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and even though Christmas is behind us, if you're an Unreal Engine developer, Christmas comes the first Tuesday of every month. And guess what? Today, at least as I'm recording this, it is the first Tuesday of the month. That means we get new free Unreal Engine content. And it works the same as every day. Uh, basically, you've got one month to buy it, as long as you add it to your cart, and air quotes, buy it before the end of the month, it is yours to keep forever. As long as it was not made by Epic Games, you should, in theory, be able to use it in whichever way you want, not just using Unreal Engine, although a lot of these assets are optimized towards Unreal Engine. Now today I'm going to do things in reverse order. I'm going to cover the free forever content and then I'm going to get into the um, the five new free for the month things. So first we're going to cover what you can get forever. So this is going to be available, no time limit at all, and it is the Vehicle Variety Pack. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. It's a collection of cars. As you can see right here, we've got Kind of a Lambo knockoff, uh, what is that, a Toyota MR2 maybe? Uh, a crappy little pickup, a crappy little Suburban kind of thing, and a lorry from the UK. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what you get in this pack. So you can see um, the full details of what you're getting, 4K textures on these guys, uh, 77 textures in all. Uh, 19 materials, 5 material instances. Oddly enough, it doesn't say how many meshes or polygons, uh, but you get an idea of what you're dealing with. So if you need a car for your game, uh, this makes it pretty simple. I, I would actually vote this one as the most flippable asset in this pack as well. Alright, so this one is free forever. You can go ahead and grab it at any time. At the end of the video, I will show you how to go about that process if you don't already know. And now we're going to get into the things that are free for this month only. So you have to buy these before the first Tuesday of next month. So as long as you pick them up before then, as you will see, the price tag is zero. And there are five items this month. The first one here is very straightforward. It is uh, the abandoned factory building uh, day and night scenes. It's a bunch of assets already defined um, and ready to use, kind of pre-configured for populating a uh, warehouse, both for a day and a night light cycle. Uh, head on down here, you can get full details of what's included there. It's got a demo scene, uh, four sets of elevation, two storage containers, two chimneys, a gas cylinder, uh, Pipes, loading ramp, wood pallets, curbs, metal sports, cables, roofs, and so on. Uh, all kinds of things going on here. 4K textures on the larger objects, uh, 2K on most props, uh, 1K on smaller props, and meshes are between 4 and uh, 11,700 triangles in size. There are 110 meshes in this pack. And as you can see, you can use it to make some pretty cool factory scenes both day and night. Uh, next up, we have the Action RPG Inventory System. is a multiplayer-supported inventory inventory management system featuring equipable and usable items that can be used in single player and multiplayer projects regardless of your game theme and UI design. Now the interesting thing is I think this is the, actually the second inventory oriented uh, asset we've actually had through the Unreal Marketplace. So we're actually getting a bit of duplication here. Uh, but you see here you've got things for like uh, you know your paper doll kind of dressing inventory management, uh, quick, quick lists and so on. And most of this is obviously implemented as blueprints. And in fact, it's 22 blueprints plus 44 examples and uh, 15 UI files. Um, you can see here it says the intended platform is desktop, but that is normally misleading. The same thing as you can see that it's for the Windows platform. That normally just means that that's what the developer tested on. You should, in theory, be able to run it on whatever platforms you want. Well, that was pretty straightforward. An inventory system, a uh, set of blueprints for handling inventory in your game, plus some UI files to make it work. Uh, next up, we have Dark Forest. This one is also pretty straightforward. This is a collection of trees and such for making uh, a Dark Forest... Uh, vibe. And that one's not the greatest screenshot I've ever seen. Uh, but yeah, another one of these scene files for creating a dark forest setup. I uh, included tw uh, 34 meshes, including 12 trees, 6 plant variations, 1 road mesh, 11 house elements. So you saw that cabin in the woods kind of thing going on right here. Um, the pieces you need to make it, as well as a table, a chair, and a carpet. So if you want to do that uh, creepy forest type vibe, that's what this pack is all about. If I counted right, I think we're on number three. So we got four next. Um, this one is called Pickup Plus Inspect. This one is another uh, systems-based one. So this is all about... Um, I think this would be mostly used for uh, VR. So if you actually want to pick up an object in the world and you want to have handling for uh, picking it up, that's what this blueprint is all about. So it allows you to... Uh, 
pick up um, and interact with objects in your game world. It also does some more advanced things like uh, when you pick something up, if you've triggered it to the same controls as, say, firing, it won't fire while you're in pickup mode uh, and vice versa. So flexible easily, uh, and easily integrated in almost any project, first, third, top down, it's VR, etc. has two core functions, pickup and inspect. Pickup is made for interacting with physics, simulated objects, carry, rotate, move, scale, uh, drop, throw, etc. Inspect is for interacting with uh, static meshes, animated, non animated animated skeletal meshes or blueprint actors. Again, if you're working on a VR project, I could definitely see some uh, value here for sure. Um, you know, for interacting with objects in your game world, this would handle that logic. It is composed of 14 blueprints, one scene, 12 structures, five enums, one material, one material instance, and one material parameter collection. And then finally, we have Smooth Sync. Now, Smooth Sync is another uh, blueprint-oriented um, uh package here or add-on or uh, whatever content you could say. Uh, this one is all about um, handling and customized interpolation and extrapolation. Um, so for smoothly moving things and synchronizing it across um, network clients and compensating for the lag between them. That way things move at the same speed on different machines. Uh, this was implemented not as blueprints in this case, but as two C++ classes. Um, this one actually makes it very, very relevant for what platforms it runs on because when you're implemented as C++, you need to implement it on a per platform basis. In this case, Win64, Win32, Linux, Mac, Android, iOS, and HTML5, which looks kind of like you could say most platforms actually here are supported. So uh, that is the one time you really do have to care about this guy right here is when it is not, so if it's a blueprint, it runs on everything because the blueprint is abstracted away from the underlying hardware. If it's models, generally it'll run on everything as well. But if it is implemented as C++ classes, it does need to have native support. And thankfully in this case, it actually does. All right, so that is it. That is the collection this month. So we got vehicles, we've got a factory, we've got inventory management system, we've got a forest. Uh, we have a pickup and inspection blueprint and then finally we have a scene um, movement and synchronization network synchronization of movable objects implemented in C++ classes I think this might have actually been the first C++ oriented thing we've had on the epic giveaways but I, you know what I might be just making that one up all right so if you're interested in grabbing these things we'll head on over this is the uh, epic game store by the way any of the one of these things you can log in using the website if you're signed in you can just buy it right here add it to your cart and then check it out otherwise head on over to the unreal game launcher head on over to marketplace and you will find two options here uh, first we have the free category well they're both in the free category to be honest first one uh, we shall drop down as soon as it decides to respond Come on. I don't know what's going on. Uh, one second. Hmm, this is really weird. The, uh, the Unreal, uh, the Epic Game Store, or Epic Unreal Engine Launcher, uh, just did an update. For some reason, it is being extremely slow, and I can't get drop-down menus to go. But what you can do generally is come on up here free. They will have a category there of the free forever, but in this particular case, you can also see all of the free for this month available down here. Any of the ones you want to get, you just basically add to cart, 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 and add to cart. We've got everything we now need, and then basically just come on up here, and you can now... All right, what the hell are you doing now? There's something seriously wrong. Okay, so now that I'm in this view, it works. So here you can see in the free, we've got the option for permanently free collection. This is where you will find your vehicle car pack now. So if you wanna go ahead and add it to your cart, you can do so as well. There's some glitchiness going on with the marketplace. When I click the cart, it finally resolved itself and started working right. I, I don't know what's going on there. I apologize. Uh, for the shoddiness of the Epic Launcher. Uh, then once you got that, click here, and then basically you can do a checkout. Now, I'm not going to show you that point because my credit card will be displayed at that point in time, or at least a couple of digits of it, and I don't need that to happen. Uh, so anyways, that is how you can go ahead and buy these things. By the way, if you do run into some weirdness with the Epic Game Store, uh, yeah, you're not alone. So did I. Uh, but that's it. That is this month's Unreal Engine Collections. There's some pretty neat stuff in here. Uh, again, uh, it's all pretty straightforward. I normally will say to you, um, you know, if there's anything in here you'd like me to see a video on, let me know. Uh, but everything here is really straightforward, to be honest. Like, this is too simple. I couldn't really make a video about it because it would be, like, paint dryingly dull. Uh, this one's pretty straightforward, too. Pick up inspection kind of stuff. And then these ones are straight out asset packs, and this is an inventory system. Like, there's not a lot to explain here. But if there's something there you'd really want some further information on, do let me know in the comments down below, and I will do my best. But like I said, this month looks pretty straightforward on the whole. 
So let me know what you think of this month's content. And uh, if you're not an Unreal Engine developer, is this stuff starting to tempt you at all? Because I got to know, seeing this every month, more and more free toys in the uh, toy box of you know, that engine you're not using, uh, it's gotta be tempting a little bit. Come on, admit it. These are kind of tempting you over just this, that wee little bit. Or if not, what you should probably be doing is just hoarding. You know what, make an account, log in, add it to your cart, check out every month. So if you change your mind somewhere down the future, you've got a whole lot of toys in your toy box when you first start playing. Okay, that's it. Uh, January 2020, welcome to the new year and welcome to the new month of free stuff from Unreal Engine. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.